Hey, what's up guys? I'm Snows and today, just wait a second, let me just turn off FSR real quick. And today I want to talk about just that, AMD's FSR. What's up guys? I'm Snows and this is your boot sequence. Alright, if you've been following me for a while, you know that I absolutely love me some up and down scaling tech for performance. Your GPU basically rendering your game at a lower resolution and then using clever tricks to upgrade it and scale it to a higher resolution, resulting in way higher frame rates in your games. It's actually something that consoles have been doing for a while now. They change the resolution on the fly when the game is more demanding, but there are other ways of doing it. DLSS, for example, the first version, that technology from NVIDIA had the whole pitch about games being trained on their NGX servers and then algorithms sent to you to take advantage of the tech. In that case, the actual performance of it was, yeah, it looked like Vaseline on your screen. It disappointed me greatly. Then came DLSS 2.0 and it freaking crushed it. It had great performance boosts. There was no need to train each game on uh, NVIDIA's NGX servers before we could use it and it was apparently super easy to implement meaning that more games would support it and going even further back I was a huge fan of the good old high algo boost which was just resolution scaling that detected mouse movement to make your games smoother you move the mouse it lowered the resolution and you had more FPS if that sounds familiar, it's because AMD actually bought the tech to make Radeon Boost. And now with DX12, Radeon Boost even has variable rate shading to make only part of your screen down res. It's great stuff and it does improve your FPS greatly. There are other ways of rendering using a lower resolution. For example, there's checkerboard rendering, integer scaling, bilinear, etc, etc. But obviously, that's not why we're here. We're here for AMD's FSR. And it's here, but uh... now, okay, maybe I'm exaggerating a bit, but let's take a look closer together. All right, so let's take a look at this presentation and the game that they are uh, showcasing, which is Godfall, by the way, a heavily AMD optimized game. So they really want to put their best foot forward for FSR. Honestly, when they were showcasing this specific scene, I didn't quite see any kind of difference. This is their highest quality mode at ultra quality. It gives you about 60% more FPS. So in this scene, they show all of their quote unquote quality settings from native all the way down to performance. Now the issue here, in my opinion, is that it's really hard to see the difference because you're basically, you can only compare the one right next to the other. So native to ultra quality, quality to balance, to balance to performance. So you don't really see the difference between native and performance. This is where I first saw a difference without actually pixel peeping. You can see that these little purple orbs get better quality between quality and ultra quality. I know it's supposed to, but you can see the difference in blurriness. It's like the details get blurry. Now, yes, I am nitpicking, but I'm just showing you that it can compound. If at quality it's already blurry, it's just gonna get blurrier from there. And then they went ahead and showed us the 1060 demo, which is the reveal to me that this isn't quite ready. On the right, you have the GTX 1060. On the left, you have a GTX 1060 once again at 1440p with the quality preset of quality mode. So Fidelity FX Super Resolution is running in quality mode. Now this is complete smudge city. The pink leaves are really smudged out. The tree trunks have lost a lot of details. So do the leaves, the green leaves and the archway rocks. Take a look at this right here. The right side is a lot smudgier than the left. Here, look at the stone railing. You can see it from a mile away that it's completely smudged out. And I know that I keep repeating the word smudge, but this is what it looks like. And all that at the second highest quality setting for that specific technology. Now, if you take what we just saw and you compare that to DLSS 1.0, it's actually not too bad. DLSS 1.0 had tons of graphical oddities. Sometimes the image would just have this weird pattern showing up in some areas. The anti-aliasing on some of the thin edges of the scene would do weird stuff like just disappear or flicker in and out of existence. And overall, the textures also looked pretty blurry. So personally, I would put FSR above DLSS 1.0 
for now. But if we look at the real competition, DLSS 2.0, it looks like AMD is really no match. The key thing about DLSS 2.0, in my opinion, is that NVIDIA was able to bring edge detail to its maximum. Look at this, for example, sourced from a Digital Foundry's video. The edges of all the polygons are nice and sharp and very well smoothed out, so you don't get any of the weird anti-aliasing effects. Heck, look at the native 4K image. The edges are flickery and clearly the 4K DLSS rendered image looks better. Now, you might say, sure, but look at the textures. They look blurrier. Well, that's because DLSS 2.0 is pulling from a 1440p render, which means it was using 1440p textures. This would be fixable if the developer had thought about it. I highly recommend that you uh, go and watch the video from Digital Foundries where they go more in depth for this specific demo and even fix it. Now, sure. DLSS 2.0 does have some of its own graphical glitches, but the benefit far outweighs the weirdness. In any case, coming back to FSR, for now, while it's not a total write-off, to me, it seems like it needs a lot of work. What we saw earlier with the demo with the GTX 1060, that was in quality mode, not in performance mode. That's the second highest quality setting, and I did not expect it to be smudged out this much. But then again, I guess it also all depends on the holy trinity, what features you have, what GPU you have, and what games you play. If you have one of the newer generation cards, something like an RX 5700 XT and above for AMD, or a 2060 Super and above for Nvidia, you're probably not going to need FSR unless you absolutely want to play in 4K. And even then, just reduce some settings, Texture quality is a big one. Use Radeon Boost for extra FPS or CAS for image clarity. If you want higher FPS, all of those things look great when compared to what I saw from FSR during the event. Heck, if your game has ray tracing, just turn it off. It's not absolutely necessary, right? So yeah, you have options if you're rocking one of those GPUs. But if you're still on an RX 480, 580 or maybe a GTX 1060 and under and when you play AAA games at 1080p medium settings you're getting something like I don't know 35 maybe up to 70 FPS and you just bought that brand new 120 Hertz display and you really want that smooth 90 plus uh, you know experience then you're gonna have FSR available for you. FSR is a start in the right direction and it will extend the life of your old GPUs on the game that will support it but it's not a game changer just yet. Hopefully, AMD has some algorithmic changes in the works to fix some of the blurriness, which in my opinion is the biggest problem. In any case, let me know what you guys think. You saw the event. Did you watch the video that was posted after the event? Did it impress you? Or are you getting DLSS 1.0 vibes from it? Let me know what you think down below. As usual, you can click right here to see the latest video right here to subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty, my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. You could take me anywhere you'd rather go. Till the day is over. I Regular snows, FSR snows. Regular snows, FSR snows. I'm using the depth of field of the. You understood.